In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a rewriting your negative beliefs or like a rewriting your past toxic beliefs spell. This spell is really good for working with this full moon that we're going to have on May 26th. It's a full moon, super moon, blood moon, lunar eclipse. And it's a full moon in Sagittarius. So keep in mind we are working with specifically Sagittarius energy. And if you are not doing this on this May 26th full moon, that's perfectly fine. You could do this anytime you need, specifically on a Thursday. Um, because Thursdays are the days that correspond with Sagittarius energy the most. So with that being said, let's get into the spell. Okay, so here's what you're going to be needing for this spell, ritual, whatever you want to call it. You're going to need a piece of paper. I would prefer a white piece of paper. I have one here that's lined. You could get a brown piece of paper, just a piece of paper. And then you're going to need one bay leaf. It's okay if it has cracks in it or it's broken, that's fine. Um, just get a piece that you could kind of write on. Um, you can also get bay leaves from my shop and I'll leave the link down below. You're also going to need a red colored something to write with. I prefer Sharpies, especially for writing on bay leaves and doing like um, manifestation work and stuff. Sharpies are really good. And I also have, this is my favorite pen in the entire world. It's this Octaflow from Staples. Ever since I found this brand, this is the only pen I will ever use. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to need a black writing tool and a red writing tool. And I have here my abalone shell, which a lot of people do have issues with that it's dirty. But to me, this is not dirty. This is the ash of everything I have manifested. So I'm not going to clean it until I feel like I'm ready to clean it. Um, I know I have some people that are like, oh, it's dirty, but I mean, to some people it's dirty, to some people it's magic, but yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that's why it's all ashy, okay? Um, the next thing is these are optional, but they will amplify your work. So here I have an oil. You are going to need some kind of an oil that you use to attract. So it could be, you could use even love oil because, you know, this is a form of love for yourself that you're doing. You're, rewrite, you're rewriting your negative beliefs. So you could use love. Um, you can use manifestation oil, rose oil, um, crown of success oil, some, some kind of oil that benefits. What I'm going to be using is my vum oil. This is from my shop. And since we are in Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius energy is a very fiery energy and this specific full moon is the sacral chakra is, you know, at the forefront of all the chakras and, you know, Sagittarius is going to be working on our sacral chakra. So I'm going to be working with my vum oil. This is our sacral chakra oil and um, this governs our sexuality. It governs our creativity, how much pleasure we allow or don't allow into our life and it just you know it it's really good for people who are artists who are creative and maybe you're having a creative block or something working on your sacral chakra really opens up that block and um it's really good for manifestation so if you're interested this is in my shop but if not you could use any oil that is benefiting that is bringing in and the next thing that I want to tell you guys is clove powder. I'm going to be using clove powder. And if you don't have clove powder, you can use just clove, just, I don't know, actually not just cloves because those are big. Clove powder, clove oil. If you have black pepper, you can use black pepper instead of clove powder. Okay. And if you don't have anything, that's fine. You don't even need any herb or anything for this. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is that the full moon in Sagittarius is the symbol of the archer, which is the arrow. And so this full moon especially, it's the time to refine your beliefs. It's refine where you're headed and aim your shot, okay? So Sagittarius likes space and freedom, and they like independence. They don't let things, especially trauma, get in their way. And look, while we're young, even in adulthood sometimes, things we experience and see 
gets imprinted into our subconscious and forms belief patterns. And some of these can be negative, toxic, not aligned with you, um, or even traumatic. And Sagittarius comes to remove these, and you can use the Sagittarius full moon energy to remove it. And if you're not doing this on the Sagittarius full moon, you could do this on any Thursday. Um, with this spell, we are reshooting our arrow with a new clear vision. All right, so with all that being said, let's get into the spell. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is take your piece of paper and you're gonna write a past belief system that you know is holding you back. And this is a time where you need to be very, very honest with yourself. So for me, I actually had one in mind right before I sat down to do this video. So I'm just gonna share it with you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you guys and let's get into it. So mine is that I... Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but what I wrote here is this is a past belief that I've been struggling with for God knows how long. I don't deserve to, or I'm not capable of living the life I dream of, right? And I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have a belief like that too. So what we're doing with the Sagittarius full moon or the Sagittarius energy is tossing this belief because I know it's not good for me and I know that for me to enjoy my life, I can't have this belief in the back of my head. So this is something that we are eliminating. So I'm going to take some of my clove powder because cloves are used to eliminate, to get rid of, to get... Yeah, to purge and to release. So I am just gonna wipe this clove all over because I'm getting rid of it, we're tossing it. It's no longer needed. It's clove is going to get it out. <laughs> okay, and then what you're gonna do with this paper is you're gonna burn it. You're gonna burn it first. If you notice how many times I had to burn that, that may represent a few blocks that were there. And every time I burn it, I am telling the universe that I want to push through that. So now we have our old belief, the ash of our old belief right there. That's powerful. And we have that clove. I have that clove like just, it's the scent is in the air and I can smell it. It feels so good. Like it's, you guys got to do it. <laughs> now, the next thing I'm going to do is rewrite my belief right here on this bay leaf. Okay, and, and what is that? It's that I deserve and am capable of living the life I dream up. And I am living it. So you do want to incorporate some kind of energy of the present moment. So that's why I wrote, and I am living it. I want this belief embedded in every corner of my brain, right? So what I'm going to do is take some of my oil. Now remember, if you don't have my personal bum oil, you can use any kind of oil that is like used to attract. Now I like to anoint my bay leaves in fours, like one corner, two, three, four, and one in the middle for spirit. And then you might actually want to do this part before you add the oil. But you do want to write the Sagittarius symbol over your new belief because we're pointing and shooting our arrow towards this new belief. And the Sagittarius symbol is... You want to draw... And you want to draw the Sagittarius symbol in red. So we have the arrow. with the line in the middle of it. So we are shooting our arrow towards a new direction. Now the arrow knows where it's going. It's, it's this new belief that it's going towards. 
that we have our bay leaf ready, I kind of let it sit for about 5-10 minutes and just to kind of let it fuel. And then what you're going to do is just light it. And what I just did is just replaced the old belief with the new one. So we're going to mix the ashes together and we're going to go out and just blow it out into the wind. Or if, if you want to bury it, if you want to throw it in the garbage, do where you know you feel called to. But it, my thing would just kind of be blow it out into the wind or throw it in the like dirt outside of your house. So that's how you would get rid of the ashes. And another thing I do want to mention is that Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is a planet of expansion and growth. So this new belief is going to expand and grow. So make sure you go and do this. You could do it however many times you want to, however many beliefs you want to change. Get inside your head and do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you don't have to do this on just this May 26th full moon in Sagittarius. You could do this also on Thursdays that are like the days that are corresponding with Sagittarius. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.